come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. We come at you every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, in our quest for world domination. Thank you for joining us Is on that this what journey. We're doing? Aren't we? We're a multimedia hyphenate conglomerate. We are. We have Ooh, one that media. That sounds so fancy. <laughs> we are a single media. <laughs> there's, no, there's no multi. But we're in this. across multiple platforms. There you go. There's no way to get oh, out of our you way make this as sound we steamroll horrible. the rest of the internet's. Yeah. Okay. I'm down for that. I'll uh, drive the steamroller. We watch movies, <laughs> then we talk about them. Can we we throw them to the it? dogs. We heck, bring them into the Thunderdome. Who are these internet radio superstars? Sean. Michaela. Holly. And I'm Colin. And tonight, the movie was chosen by... The Holly. <laughs> the Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Me, the me. <laughs> Holly, what did we watch? What did we the watch this weekend? <laughs> uh, this week we went on a journey into the deep with the Meg. The deep blue sea. No, 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 unfortunately no, not. Not. No, no. no I took, no, us, I took us on that journey last last summer. So this summer we visited the Meg. The Meg yeah. hey, from the release. year. T- yesterday, yeah. <laughs> but at the time you're hearing this, a week, a week ago. ago. Oh yeah, yeah. The, yeah sorry. A and it's uh, directed by John Told Turtle Tom. Who we I love that last name. Turtle Tom. <laughs> Turtle Turtle Tom. Turtle Tom. Turtle Tom. You know what he else he did? He did Three a ninjas, bunch. Uh, cool Runnings. Cool Runnings. Yeah. Phenomenon. And so, two you sleeping. national so treasure director. movies. Both national treasure movies. <laughs> and I believe the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Am I yes. wrong? Yes. Okay. yes, you are correct. You know, maybe he's a national treasure. You I know, mean, he he's kind of done some great work. He is to me. <laughs> John Turtle. Feel the rhythm. Feel I just the remember the trailer <laughs> for one of the uh, national treasures where they had the guy from Frontline, like very serious, you yeah. know, announcer from director John Turtletop. And I'm like, who? Who the fuck is that? You know and then you look is. him up you and you're like, oh shit, I've seen a ton of his movies. Yeah. A ton. Yeah. Three Ninja's my favorite. Yeah, he's done, a, he's done a bunch a of great time. movies. He did Phenomenon? Yeah. Yeah. Travolta? Yeah. Did you did not you? listen to the she things said I that. just rattled did off? You say, yep. Did you I say sure did. Yep. Phenomenon? I didn't hear Phenomenon. Did. The Kid? He likes yeah. 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 Like the kid, yeah. yeah. But ironically, he was not the first director on the Meg. He was not. This movie's got a history. Yeah. Was Eli Roth the first one? Or was I don't he think later? so. I think he was, uh, he was in the, the middle. Later. He was the one right before Turtle Talk. Okay, yeah, and he dropped out because they didn't. They took away the R rating and took all the. Yeah. Well, the did you hear what else he said? He wanted to write, direct, and star. Oh, I and know. They were, oh, yeah. oh, guys, could you imagine how much of a shit show this movie would have been if Eli Roth writ, <laughs> wrote, directed, and starred in this fucking? Oh, he wanted to be Jason Statham. Yeah, all right. in this movie. What was that yeah, rumor? Is that he no? He, he that did. was his. Demands and they said oh, yeah? nah, and he said I'm walking, and they said <laughs> yeah. bye. They were like, nah. Felicia, let the you know, nah. wow. <laughs> yeah, because wow. they said you don't have the star power for this movie, and, and he correct. took that personally, and they are correct about <laughs> sure. that. He does not, yeah. Well, what, he, yeah. He was the star of Piranha 3D. Stop it! You stop it right now. I'm just saying, you know, you could use that as your stepping saying. stone stop. into. I think if you did a man mag. on the street poll, most people do don't not even know who he is. Who he is? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Let alone know what he looks like. All right. So, where did the Meg begin its history? In the year 1997. Okay. As a book. Uh, as a book, a novel written by uh, Steve Alton. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I, I read uh, three quarters of it at work today. Did you? I yeah. did. Okay. <laughs> and how is it? Um, not my cup of tea. Yeah, too sciency. Is it like very sci-fi? Like, here's how it's the technology works. Kind of in an unnecessary way. That that's like, a lot of sci-fi. That's not what we're here for, dude. Mm-hmm. It's not what we're here for. We're here for the sharks. Mm-hmm. We're here for the kills. You know, standard. Yeah, I, I said that a lot during this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, I hear you. Um, yeah, not my cup of tea. The differences are actually not as. I mean, in my opinion, they're not as great as I expected it to be. A lot of the f- same formula is followed. But there were some subtle differences. Well, one of the biggest ones I think people who are a fan of the book are going to complain about is in the book, it's an albino shark. I think oh. that's going to be a big factor for them. Um, why not do that? You're CGing the shark. Why not make it albino? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm sure we're all going to agree on the CG quality of this shark. And imagine if it was also white. I think that would be even worse. The untextured model of a shark. Basically, yes. It's the model <laughs> yeah. before they put yeah, anything on like, it. I, I can see why they chose not to go albino. I think it would have been They had $150 too... million. I feel like they could have made it look okay. You know? Maybe. 
I don't know. You give it the red, the pink eyes. Million. Here's the pink here's eyes. The thing, though, a real, That'd be cool. Here's yeah. the thing, though. A real albino animal already looks fake. So to make a fake mm. one, right? Really Have you seen albino alligator. alligators? They look that so shit fake. don't look real. They yeah. look so fake. So and because like their skin yeah. has like that pinky like exactly. flesh tone to it. That, so I like, think looks to make weird. an already fake looking animal with CGI would just be no. It, let's do that on the Sci-Fi Network. Oh, yeah, they're like, me, we can ruin this movie other ways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me exactly. ask you a question, Holly. <laughs> yeah. So you said this started out as a novel, and this it guy did. wrote it in 1996. It did. How many it's Meg like novels seven. are there? It's like seven. Oh, that I don't know. There's a, there's a lot. There's It's a series. Isn't there like five What's, or six? There's like five yeah. or six. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's quite oh, yeah. a few. Same Meg? Or a different Meg? Wait, wait, wait. Do we need to explain to the audience what a Meg is? Probably. A Megalodon. That, What's a Megalodon? As, as Jason trailer. Statham says, that's a Megalodon. That's a Megalodon. I've been doing that all day at work. Because it's fun. All day. We've been printing stuff out. Little Jason Statham's everywhere. It's a Megalodon. I love it. Sounds like you had a lot of fun with this movie. Don't tell me. Keep me in suspense. We'll find out. For later. It's a prehistoric shark comedy. If, if this is your first episode, ladies and germs, we're going to go through the movie and then... Uh, we're going to spoil the shit out of it. Yep. So. Beware. Yeah, so I mean, we it's been out for thoughts. a week at this point. Yeah, so. yeah that's true. Yeah. And then we will uh, give you our final opinions around the room at the end of the of the show. I'll say, right. too, this might be somebody's first, considering the recent... That's right. Release. Yeah. Welcome yeah, aboard to our 292nd Welcome. episode. Wow. Ooh, is it really? Yeah. It is. Exciting. Wow. Yeah. Very exciting. So what's a megalodon? Prehistoric shark. A big prehistoric shark. Massive. It's a uh, uh, ancestor of the great white. Mm-hmm. So it's basically a humongous great white. You've seen the picture of the six scientists standing in the jaws of a megalodon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty well, famous. Well, and where I not to give away our location, guys, but uh, where we are, uh, maybe five or six years ago, our local natural his- history museum had a megalodon exhibit. There was a traveling exhibit where you could really? go stand in the jar- jaws of mm-hmm. it, uh, oh, and fun. it was pretty fucking cool. <laughs> like that was one I'm of my favorite like traveling and how big were exhibits. The teeth on that one? Uh, probably like a foot at least. You know, they were pretty big, real big. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, this was a, a big ass shark. You know, it was it, a replica set of jaws that you could go stand. This would have been better if they just called it big ass shark. How yeah. many that's jaws? The Sci-Fi Network will do yeah. that. Don't. How worry. many jaw sharks could you fit inside of this shark? Like fifteen jaws. Yeah. Oh, that's what, a big what shark. What did they say? This was the size of like a blue whale, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I confuse it, it for like a blue 70, whale at one point. It's like seventy-five feet or something. It was crazy. It's like big. Some crazy amount. Um. Yeah. All right, so our hero, Jason yeah. Statham. Oh, no, I, I brought that. I was asking you about the teeth because I have a oh, little shit. something to show you. Oh, here we go. Bring a tooth. We have visual aids. I we will describe a- this for you, listener at home. Holly has pulled a purse. A we tiny have. little a small purse. Asian bag. It yep. is a small Asian bag. Uh, Fitting yes. my friend, for this movie. I know, oh, yes. right? right? My friend brought this back. It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, an actual fossil. Oh, she did have a megalodon tooth. Oh, Get the fuck out. <laughs> Guys, we're touching things. Touching you can't it. see it, but we're t- Sean's oh, touching yeah. the megalodon touching tooth right now. Actual it is, uh, megalodon fossil. Ooh. You would have expected it to be white or some kind of ivory color. Not this sure. is all uh, uh, whatever has been all, over well, time. All, all me- the minerals yeah. are out of it. All yeah. megalodon fossils are going to be brown and black. That's mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. It's like our own raptor claw. I know. How, yeah, sharp yeah, <laughs> How sharp is it? How sharp is it? Stab yourself. <laughs> with it. Oh. Colin's stabbing okay. himself. It's very smooth at this point because it's you know millions years old or whatever. Yeah, it's been. That wild. reminds me of like you remember in the '90s when like puka shell necklaces oh, yeah. were a thing. There was also shark yes. tooth necklaces, oh, like yeah. douchebags would wear. I'm pretty yeah. sure I had. One. I had one too. Yeah, I was always <laughs> afraid that it would poke me. Like right there. That's like yeah. a Game of Thronesian like murder. Because remember, <laughs> she, okay, guys, spoilers for Game of Thrones. Skip ahead. Hit your skip ahead button. Remember how Shay gets like killed by the the hand of the king necklace yeah, yeah, going yeah. into oh, her throat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like that's so that's what you thought would happen to you. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> Mm, you gotta be you gotta be careful with those things. That's uh, that's what we're saying. Okay, so the Meg, the movie the Meg takes place in the future. Like five years. Five years in the future. Yeah. Where we have awesome amazing five years in the technology yeah. in an underwater research station that's right. somewhere in the South China Sea. I don't mm-hmm. know where it is. I'm saying yeah. two hundred miles like off the coast. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's right. It says so. Yeah. I, and I, I appreciate I that the Shanghai. movie gave us those numbers because I hate it when a movie is not specific mm-hmm. about those things. Because when especially when you're traveling to dis- distances, it's kind of annoying to not know where you are in the first place and then be like, We gotta go over here. It's like, but where are we? 
to start. So in at least this movie on did a universal that. Lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually shot in New Zealand. Mm. That's yeah, it was. Uh, true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so there's a, there's a fantastic, mo- ultra modern, futuristic, some would say, underwater yeah. research station, not unlike Deep Blue Sea or right. Jaws 3D. That's right. Uh huh. Yep. Where they have translucent, big, uh, you know, uh, tunnels where you can view out into the uh, the ocean, which is amazingly crystal clear, and you can see for miles. You know why? Because it's China. No, I don't know. So. <laughs> Because it's a CGI ocean. There it is. Yeah. Yep. Well, I suppose we should start off. There's a little bit of preface. Uh, sure. This sets up the character of Jason State, the man of action, Jonas. who will eventually drop kick a fucking shark in the face. Yes. But you have to wait for that moment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, as Jonas, what turn style? What's his name? Jonas. Taylor, Taylor. Okay, yeah. Taylor. he is a rescue turtle diver. <laughs> Jonas Turtle Top. Jonas turtle top. <laughs> That's his name. Uh huh. I want that to be everyone's last name. Jonas Honestly, turtle I could neck. not buy Jason Statham as a Jonas for one second. I was like, oh, oh okay, sure, whatever. Yeah, your name's Jonas. Okay. Well, well, last in, time, in the book, Jonas is a very different man. <laughs> I bet. When's the last time that you saw Jason Statham in a major Movie? motion picture? Crank Two. Okay, so that's a while ago. I, I, I don't, but I also don't watch the Fast and Furious movies, so that's yeah. why. Oh, true. I, okay, so, there you go. So if I don't watch those, I yeah. haven't seen him in yeah. a while. You yeah, know? I haven't seen him in a while. I mean, I've seen him in direct video stuff, like uh, the bank job or something. That's sure. pretty okay. Oh, no, I did see that too. Okay, I hear so Safe is a good movie. Yeah. Yes, that's the last thing I saw him in. Yeah, where yeah. he's got the kid and everything. Yep. Everybody keeps talking about that. How it's a good actually, one. But I mean, a hundred and fifty million dollar movie. This seems like big exposure for him for yep. you know for the first time in a while. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, the, last the Fast and the Furious, Furious, Furious movie. movie. You're right. Yeah, All right, yeah. I'm giving up on. I was going yeah. through this all week. I think I've seen three Statham movies. Same. And I haven't seen a lot. That's including the Meg. I've I'm seen sure Crank the One, Italian job. Crank Two. The oh, Italian job. job. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Ghost of yeah. Mars. Everybody loves that movie. Um, so <laughs> I'm just a deadpan. Wow. Yeah, we throw it and then hope that it goes off. So, uh, Statham is a rescue diver who has an unfortunate experience at the beginning of the film where he has to rescue people from a nuclear sub that has somehow, it's like in the deepest dive depth that anyone has ever gone. And he loses two of his friends. Now, loses, is that a a fair way to say? He has to make an executive decision to save everyone or that everyone will hold against him for the rest of his life. Yeah. Literally yes. everyone who comes into contact with him, whether they know who he is or not, knows that he's a fucker. You're up. that guy yeah. you, who leaves people. Yep. That's, yeah. Uh, yep. yeah. Yep. There's like, a lot of that. Come on. They'd all be dead. <laughs> Cut him some fucking slack. Yeah. I f- yeah. Um, I feel like everyone's reaction to him is a severe? reach. Severe? It's, it's, it is, is a reach. That is straight from the fucking book. Yeah. It's worse than the book. Really? Wow. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But like yeah. I'm trying, I was trying to think if we had like a comparable person in our in our mm-hmm. war history or something. I couldn't mm-hmm. really think of anyone, but I'm just like, I imagine that the people we paint as war heroes had to make tough choices, right? right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, we just never heard about that. Yeah, exactly. It was all classified exactly. yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. But this tear is at the man's soul. He's just not a full person until one day he's going to be able to resolve this, right? That's the so he character an arc. alcoholic in Thailand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you got to start. You got to. You got to. You got to go low. Then we have to build him up for the rest of the oh, movie. The like hero's right. journey. He looked happy. Yeah. He was <laughs> His life out looked pretty awesome, honestly. Yeah. He yeah, sits right? around, drinks, in a. He like know, rents out a fishing boat once in a while. In a nice yeah. little hat. Yeah. yeah. And the waitress just kind of knows him well enough to bring over a beer when he's passed when he's out. Just put another one in his yeah, hand. Yeah, when he's yeah what's so wrong with this guy's life? Yeah, right. I don't, I don't but you right. notice when he had the beer in his hand, it like woke him back up and restored his vitality. Having the beer. Yeah, right. he's like, oh, I have a full beer in my hand. I should drink this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not seeing the problem. Yeah, I'm not no, seeing the problem either. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, you know, maybe everyone else in this movie is the villain for disturbing his peaceful life. I think so. I would go you know? with that. <laughs> yeah. I would go with everyone so. else are the bad people. Yeah, I would say. Well, speaking of bad people, well, okay, not bad people, but there are people <laughs> there definitely are. There's other people. Well, at this are research people? station. People. We're supposed to assume they're people, but they're pretty one dimensional, I would say. Well, this is very well, okay, but here's the thing this movie starts like, you know, after we get the preamble with Statham and his backstory out of the way. Then we're introduced to the uh, underwater station, and then they start introducing a whole shitload of people. So my question is a lot of people. Is that in the book? Yep. Okay, so... I could not keep up. Is it just like... So you know how, like, at the beginning of Guy Ritchie movies, he'll be like, boom, here's all the people in the heist, like, right off the bat? Mm. Is that how the book is? It's yeah, like, here's of. all your players. I like, mean, the, it... it 
it, it, it goes from scene to scene. Like at first they're in America and you meet a bunch of people and then you go travel to the lab and you meet a bunch of people and then you go here and you meet a bunch of people and it just keeps adding. And you're like, I don't remember who any of you are. Mm-hmm. Like I, I remember like two of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's just I start going based on the types. There's the big Swede. There's uh what's his name from heroes. Hero. Yeah. There's hero. Hero, hero from, from heroes. heroes. Thank you. Yes. There's yeah. the girl who has a link to our hero. His real yeah. hero. His ex-wife. Yeah. Hero. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to. I have the name. He might be the secret hero in this movie. There's yeah. the billionaire who funded the entire place. Dwight Wilson. Wilson from The Office. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dwight. Yeah. There's um uh let's see who else. We're, I'm trying to go DJ, around. DJ the, the black guy who can't swim. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, comic relief mm-hmm. uh, moments, and then there's the, uh, the, the Ice Cube and or LL Cool J yes. of this movie. Yes. Yep. Who was the guy? Man, I should know this guy's name. He was Statham's buddy, who was on the. Uh, I've seen this actor Heller? like in a ton. No, because Heller actor? was the doctor. Cliff, yeah. Cliff Curtis, Mac. He played Mac. Mac. Yeah. The and guy he's with the long okay, hair. That guy. Yeah, yeah. I for like half the movie, I was like, that guy looks like M Night Shyamalan, but I know it's not M Night Shyamalan, but he looked a like bit. M Night Shyamalan. I'm totally drawing a blank in the guy. movies I've seen him in now. Mac. He's in like every movie. He was, in- he was the guy that went to go have a talk with Statham, Statham about doing the rescue. Yeah. The Indian guy. Yeah. I assume he's Indian. Don't actually know. Hey, wow, right. you are not wow. recalling this character. And no. Ruby Ruby Rose is in it. Ruby Rose. Okay, playing. Ruby Rose, Ruby Rose, except yeah, seriously. with an American accent this time yeah. to show her range, her oh, yeah. range as a performer. I, okay, this character I have a huge problem with for a lot of reasons, but Jax. mostly like, yeah, okay, I'm real, like, I always get really excited when I see that an actor that is very heavily tattooed get, is allowed to keep their tattoos in a movie. That's yeah. always very exciting for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and like, with her... That seems to happen quite a bit with Tom Hardy and Venom. He's being allowed to keep his actual tattoos, which is great. But like, I hate that it's become a trope that like a computer hacker has to be like an right. edgy person, you know? Mm, like yeah. NCIS did that where they had that goth girl Polly Perrette oh, play yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. her for what twelve years or yeah. something. Well, it's because you know? the computer hackers are so uh, rare, but they're also geniuses, and no one else can do what they do, yeah. so they can show up to work wearing what their yeah. hair or the, whatever style they want. Yeah, yeah. but I hate that her character awesome. just re. Enforce this trope that's been around for like 15 years probably now mm-hmm. and she's just just driving it home and I'm just like this character has could 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 be completely omitted from this movie and we would lose nothing the guy that was sitting next to me halfway through the movie he was just googling pictures of her <laughs> right. eh, she's an attractive one no, she's she's like her her bone structure and her face is incredible like she's a real I like true. her aesthetic like I like I said, I like the, her aesthetic. I just hate how it's utilized in she, movies. The, okay, this is gonna sound the so future mean. Batwoman. This is gonna sound so mean, but she's like if Kira Knightley was crossed with a praying mantis. <laughs> Come on, uh, that's about right. Right? I don't, I don't know. know. A little bit. I've seen her in all of two movies: The Meg and John Wick Two, and I hated her character in John Wick Two because it made no sense. But she was on so, Orange Is the New Black. I haven't watched that's that show. Where, far I think that was her in. breakout. Yeah. Then, yeah. then Hollywood has tried to make her into something. Yeah. That and she was not, in yeah. uh, Resident Evil: The Final Chapter. Mm. Oh. And maybe something else. And now she's going to be in Batwoman. But like every time I see her, I sit there and go like. I don't know. For me, anyway, it's like she doesn't have like a person, like a range of acting ability. No. Like yeah. I always see her like delivering lines. She's, yeah, she's, she's not really actually. Gross. Yeah. No, she's not. She's not a star. But they're damn they're sure going. trying know, to make her trying, into one. But... <clears throat> so there's also uh, the Taiwanese. Was he? Uh, he's he Chinese. I think he's from the actors from Taiwan. The head of the uh, lab. We apologize. We're going to get this all wrong. His last name was Zhang. It was Doctor Zhang, right? Yeah. So he might yeah. be a Chinese character. And, and then, then, okay, then and then that girl that looks like he could be his could be his wife, but apparently is his daughter. I did not feel like yeah. their age yeah. difference is appropriate. I was like, wait, that's your daughter? Yeah. And she was Ada Wong in Resident oh. Evil. Yeah, she's been in she a ton of stuff. After, no. The, 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 the Apocalypse. Apoca- no. Afterlife. Uh, no, the one after that. Retribution. There we go. Got it. Oh, yep. Jesus. There was a retribution? She was, yeah. a, she's a big deal. Lee Bing Bing. She's mm-hmm. like, she was in... Yeah. Um, Snowflower and the Secret Fan, and she was in uh, oh, what was that? The Hidden Forest, oh, the 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 Kingdom, something Kingdom, the Hidden Kingdom, Hidden that Kingdom. That's see, it. We're yeah. we're we're working. <laughs> we're there. We're there. Uh, she's, she she's has, a big deal. She's and, a big deal. yeah. I know. In China, she's yeah. a big star, which yeah. is why I'm like, I was actually sitting there going, like, was this movie supposed to be released in theaters in the United States? It's a. I mean, yeah. Gravity Pictures. Uh, I mean, had their hand in this. So nothing else. This is a great wall situation. Funding came for this movie. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. It's, oh, it's yeah. like the, the Great Wall. Came. It's yeah. the same company that yeah. did the Great Wall. Oh, yeah. So, okay. yeah. yes. So it's so a, a, a crossover a hit. American Chinese co production. Yep. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Which leans heavily on, I think, Chinese, Chinese in this one. Because yeah. obviously yeah. it's playing to that uh, mm-hmm. audience. Where yeah. I'm sure it'll open huge. For reason. Mm. Because now we finally get a spring break sequence that takes place on a beach in China. But mm-hmm. okay, we got to save that for really? later. Um, well, what are the equivalent of spring break? A beach. The third act beach sequence sean was out of the movie by then yeah uh, <laughs> oh did no i got we have photographic proof that you made it to the credits uh, yeah i was there and i made it to the credits mm-hmm. so there's also uh lee bing bing has a daughter why yep. the emotional core of the movie uh, mm-hmm. because will I, the child be in danger i can't watch another movie the precocious kid and i can't do it like i'm so it's over it precocious. and like yeah. mm-hmm. She was two seconds away from me, like, you should fuck my mom. Yeah. Yeah. That's what well, you should do. I like, like you. It was you right should there. with her. Yeah. I, why is, okay, why is this, like, plot, why is, why is this kid on this on this rig, the man of one, and the 200 miles off the coast? Why is she there? So they mm-hmm. can put her in danger? Exactly. Why? Why the fuck is the kid, but that never amounts to anything because she's fine at the end of the movie. You mm-hmm. know what? If this movie wants real stakes, it needs to kill that kid. She, at, I mean, yeah. I'm for that. At yeah, one point, it they, alligator they, did it, and she's never like in <laughs> imminent danger. No, never. No, like it never really comes. What there was a scene where it's all, in all the trailers where she's standing in the transparent tube, and the Meg comes up. But it doesn't even break the glass. I know. Glass. But it doesn't even break the glass. So who gives it's a fuck? Just like, yeah. My heart leapt into my throat did at it? that moment. No. Shut up. I, I like I said, I Don't. can't do another <laughs> precocious kid in a movie, let alone a monster. It's not movie. nice to me. It's not nice to the listeners. <laughs> oh yeah. Stop Wait it. until I describe with breathless abandon the scene where Jason Statham drop kicked a fucking grenade into the mouth of the shark and blew it up. How cool is that? Wait, that happened? No. No. Okay. He stabbed it in the eye though. That was yeah, pretty that's cool. True. Yeah. That's. <laughs> So these folks are in this research facility, and the whole gist of the movie is that at the bottom of the... the, the Mariana Trench. Mariana Trench. Thank yep. you very much. So wait, Rain Wilson is Sam Jackson, right? That's no. the equivalent here? Yeah, yeah, yes. Well, Sam Jackson was a scientist. Sam Jackson and the guy who he put his hand on his shoulder, but that guy never said a word. That white guy, you remember yeah. at the beginning of Deep Blue Sea? Yeah. That guy that he was like oh, standing, yeah. he's like, I'm speaking for him. Like he's both of those people. Mm-hmm. But but for the listener, Rain Wilson is basically like a like a Richard Branson, Elon Musk yeah, type, like a billionaire matter. that's investing mm-hmm. in this crazy t- but he's more of like a Silicon Valley douchebag personality than more those so, two. Yes. Yeah. Like those two do not have that personality. But if you've ever watched the show Silicon Valley, he's everyone from that show rolled into one person. Yeah. I admired the tech from the beginning of this movie. They have little submersibles where all the it's, it's made cool. of like those video uh, plate uh, or video screen plates. Yeah. yeah. So even though you're inside the thing, you have a 360 degree viewing area of everything that's happening right. on mm-hmm. outside. The I thing. did like that you could grab one and push it to the other. That was cool. It's very I like that. Yeah. yeah. That was pretty cool. It's like yeah. Avatar tech, but yeah. you know. I was thinking Iron Man, but Iron Man tech. Sure. Yeah. Um, but anyway, Statham's ex-wife goes Vegas. down. So the, the idea is that at the bottom of the Mariana, Mariana yes. Trench, Mariana yep. Trench, we've always thought that there was a floor there, but it turns out that may be a semi-solid cloud of ice vapor or frozen vapor mm-hmm. that is separating the uh, temperate uh, mm-hmm. waters above it yep. from a hidden ocean right. below it. And this is where the Meg lives this and attacks like everything that comes down there it's mm-hmm. like the pacific rim portal kind of not at all but okay where the kaiju come from <laughs> but they that's like a portal another to dimension. another dimension well yeah so, so it's, it's another basically. dimension no, okay, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's earth <laughs> it's, it's, it's earth. basically the same thing mm. but the idea that the I was movie more of like the abyss yeah okay yeah anyway. yeah because i thought about the abyss a lot during so the watching I. of this movie anyway, um so <laughs> Well, the uh, the uh, the idea is is that underneath this frozen layer, all this uh, aquatic life can exist and never interacts with you know the the upper levels of where we you know mm-hmm. swim and okay, fish and all that. This stuff. is where I would have really liked to have subtitles because I maybe on my hearing's going. I don't know. I saw this at IMAX and you I couldn't a, understand. Statham? I had a no. Most people oh. I couldn't understand. I couldn't understand a lot of the dialogue in this movie just up front. But were they saying that that cloud layer is called a thermocline? Is that what I heard? They were saying thermo thermo something. Thermo something, and I never heard the last half like well enough. If there was techno garble, I didn't. It was thermo thermo cloud. But what were they were calling it? The thermo something, and it sounded like thermo client, thermo cloud. I I couldn't. Like I said, maybe maybe I can't hear anything. Maybe that's my problem. But like. 
we saw an IMAX, so better sound than normal. And I was still like, what, what, like, what'd they say? Mm-hmm. I've never wanted subtitles so bad for a movie than watching this one in theaters. I was like, I, gathered, I can't understand yeah, anything. I gathered thermal cloud because it mm. looked like a Okay, cloud. that makes sense. That's what I took from it. Yeah. Well, if Stathan's ex-wife goes down there and then ends up uh, becoming attacked by the Meg, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, her ship is down there. Mm-hmm. She's running out of air. We got to go get Statham. Right. And he's the only guy who can dive that deep and perform this yeah. awesome rescue. But yeah. they're running out of air because they've been knocked around a couple times by something they can't see. Yes. Right. right. Which he was also knocked around by in his rescue mission. Yep. At the beginning, mm-hmm. nobody believes him. Somebody right. was yep. chomping on a submarine. Yep. Right. right. So and we he, go get this. And, he, and she's with Hero from Heroes and yeah. the dude from True Detective. Who we will call The Wall. Yeah. Which, okay, is that a reference to True Detective? Because wasn't his character on True Detective called The Wall? Like The Wall, D-E-W-A-L-L was his last name. DeWall. No, I can't remember. I don't, remember. I don't think season? so, but yeah. yeah. He, sh- he was in guy? like five or six. Yeah. 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 Okay. I looked it up because I was like, <laughs> that guy looks like he's from, and he is. He was in like one episode of True Detective, okay. but like. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, so the, the logistics of this craziness is that uh, the it, they have to bring the alcoholic guy to, you know, uh, become the hero again and go save his ex-wife, because that's right. his motivation. Yeah. So Statham, man of action, burrows his way down. Is that the right way to say it? In a little submersible? I mean, yeah. Well, I, 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 I personally fa- wouldn't use the word, but... Well, but he, he goes down. faster than he's plunges? supposed to. Because plunges. they say... Plunges? I think that's a good word. They say you can't go that fast, you're going to fuck yourself up, and yep. he's no starts But he's yeah. fucking yeah. Jason like Statham. I do like he, he brings, he's like, I brought uh, patch cables so that I can override everything and <laughs> yeah, just yeah, do yeah. what I want. And he's like, I, all right, yeah, go for it. I it. like his I like devil it. may care attitude. Yeah, yes. I do, do it, buddy. Yeah. Well, we should have like, also pointed out, out. that uh, I, I know you mentioned Heller, but Heller is, is another, pa- he's the doctor on the on the mm-hmm. rig, and he is the guy who was with Statham and yeah. believes Statham's crazy for saying there's a giant shark. Right. Right. Okay. So and he's, through saying, the, and he's saying Statham fucked up by by not saving everyone. Right. He's yeah. right. he's put that narrative out there. So, mm-hmm. well, through the plot machina- ma- machin- machinations. machinations. Thank you very much. Uh, they end up, uh, you know, Statham rescues the crew and causes a Most of the thermal crew. vent. Right. He loses another person. We sacrifices hero. himself. Hero. We lose hero. Is hero here? Heroes. Hero is the hero. Yeah. Yeah. And like, did you guys like how he slipped the note into the wall's pocket? I thought that oh, was cute. Like, I liked that moment that. actually, yeah, I like because I liked their friendship together. So I was yeah. kind of sad to see that broken up so quickly because I appreciated. It was just funny because they're what a couple of dorks. Yeah, like, that's what I liked about it though. Like, 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 oh, it's just a couple of sea dorks. Yeah, but who are you going to have working your ship? Dorks, yeah. you know? Well, yeah, like, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's, it was you want the, the dorks. realism was yeah. yeah. There's also an awesome scene where a gigantic uh, squid, squid attacks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Because everybody, well. I thought it was cool. 2,000 Leagues on the Sea. If you're yeah. going to do one of these, I mean, you got to pay homage to pretty much everything that's come before it. Mm-hmm. I appreciate right? a giant squid. Yeah. Same. There you go. Giant squid. Then the mega attacks it. And, yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. So basically, the it, what we're getting at here is that through their misadventures, a thermal vent opens in the cloud, which allows... Any number of marine life to escape from the mm-hmm. prehistoric layer into the layer of the modern into world. Our world. Yeah. Right. And things go horribly awry. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we've just set up. That's probably the first third, 45 minutes. How long was this third. movie? Too long. 113 Ooh. minutes. 113 minutes. Kind of felt like it. Could it could have been 90. Could, well, yeah, it could have been 90. Well, uh, there's uh, a good portion of that running time, I would say, is taken up by a romantic subplot. Uh, yeah. An unnecessary one at that. Uh, An unnecessary, obvious one you've seen a million times. Don't yep. ever need Pacific Have Rim you? did it. And I, I didn't think Pacific Rim needed it either. No, and it probably didn't. Yeah, yeah, no, it didn't. And this movie did it but too. Did it have. Okay, so here's. Okay, so usually in these movies, it seems like what your romantic subplot is, right? Is that. Uh, You've got a guy who uh, his ex-wife, they split up. She's now in charge of something. She gets herself into trouble. He has to come in, and th- even though he dislikes her, through the uh, amount of 
pain and suffering that they go through. And then there's that scene where they're both drowning and he has to like tow mm-hmm. her back to the, okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Are we talking about the abyss? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but that's how you do it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. You don't do the like, well, you got to go save your ex-wife and then, but you're actually interested in this other girl or she's interested in you. And yeah. so, and the ex-wife so you have is zero like, chemistry with. Yeah. It was just weird. Cause I'm like, is maybe this even negative to be chemistry. This? I would yeah, argue maybe. it might be negative even. Yeah. You might even repel each other. Yeah. You know, you might be like similar magnets, you know, that push yeah. each other apart. Right. Explain just, this. Who yeah. are we talking yeah. about? Who are we talking about? And what's going on? Sun Yin here? was her name, right? And uh, Statham. how the hell are you guys remembering names of these characters? I no, I had Oof. to. I had to read a lot. To okay, remember. I took notes and I had time. I had time at work today, is okay. what I should say. That's all. <laughs> That's I'm good. I'm glad it's just not a yeah. natural thing. No, that happened no, no. It, like, like I said, I couldn't hear anything in this movie. Like, I felt like I was underwater watching this because I could not hear IMAX, a goddamn man. thing. They turn that fucking shit up so goddamn loud. It like, but just, I thought it, that would help, and uh-huh. it, apparently it uh-huh. didn't. Everything like, I've seen in IMAX is yeah. like, huh? It's like so fucking loud. It's yeah. everything's distorted. <laughs> they want to blast you with everything. Look, picture, yeah. sound. <laughs> In all yeah. four corners. Because they do that thing at the beginning where they're like, your exit might be at the front. And it's right. the front speaker. And they're like, or at the back. And it's the back speakers. Like, they like to show off that they have control over the speakers. Yeah, but, they're just like, huh? Yeah, huh? yeah. But you didn't expect that, yeah. But no, like I said, I could. I, I felt like I was watching this movie underwater because I could not understand a goddamn word that was being said. So, like, well, if I get something wrong, call me out on it because I could not hear anything. I think her name was... Su Yin, Sun Yin, yeah. something Sun-Yin. like that. Something I think like you're that. right. Su-Yin. I think you got it. Su Yin. Su Yin. So it really doesn't matter. But this is what we're supposed <laughs> to uh, yeah. believe is that Statham and she. Well, it's not like they have like a. This is like the most. Uh, not coerced. gentle. Yeah. Uh, coerced. Yeah. It's like the most uh, lethargic, maybe. Uh, yeah. uh, no sparks. Effortless. Yeah. Effortless. No. no heat at all. No. Uh, no. Pairing between two well, people in a movie. How old is she supposed to be? I don't. And how old is Statham supposed to be? Because like, because he looks the same age as her quote unquote dad. Yeah. Who looks like her dad looks like he could be her husband. I thought that maybe she was Hero's wife. That would have made so much more sense. And I would have bought that so much more if that had been the dynamic. Mm -hmm. Because how crushing would that have been that like the wall has that note in his pocket and then hands it to her and she has to read. Oh, God damn it. Why Uh was that? The better movie. movie. Yeah, Yeah. 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 Aside from Jason Statham, like while he's being towed behind it, you're like actually kicking a shark in the fucking face. It's slightly, it's slightly. That more, actually does happen. Mm-hmm. That does happen. It's slightly more effective in the book because the guy that dies is her brother. The guy that dies. Oh, and the uh, heroes. The oh, Hero. okay. uh, yeah, yeah. Been that better. that would work too. It's her but brother. This movie so. gets the relationships between people all wrong, all wrong. Yeah, like. Like it, 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 like you'd think that Statham and uh, what's her name? Don't know. Uh, his ex-wife would have some sort Lori. of chemistry together, but they don't give a fuck about each other. <laughs> That's and, nice. yeah. Throwing that in there, <laughs> yeah. Lori. Okay, Lori. it's like a romantic comedy where there's like two couples in it, and they think they like each other and everything, but nobody yeah. ever realizes that if they swapped partners, exactly. they would be the happiest people in the world. <laughs> you mean like, kind of like that? You mean that, like I know, I know what you did last summer. How they should have sw- yes. swapped well, that, yeah. that partnership? Happens, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it happens a lot. You're just like, oh, they think they like each other, but yeah. you know what? But he likes her, and they'd be much happier if they were together. Well, mm-hmm. and it feels like Statham only likes her because her daughter's saying like, "My mom likes you all the time." Yeah, like yeah. That, it's and, only and because like, of the sure. daughter, you know? Yeah, it's a, a, we're just not uh, whatever. I mean, obviously, it's just yeah. it's a contrived thing for the point of the movie. But I think it contrived is right. It would have made yeah. more sense and generated more interest if it was him reuniting with his estranged ex wife or some. They had a history there. Yeah, or you have to get one or of them you, out of the or equation. Or if you felt that they had a history. Or you kill the ex-wife. Characters. <laughs> Something! Yeah. Kill the ex-wife. Yeah, why not? Give somebody some you know, an emotional like reason to do anything in this movie. It, Something it, that's believable or works or shows up on screen. I well, feel like that's my biggest complaint about this movie is that like the stakes are not high enough ever. Never. Like they're never high enough. Like yeah. there's too many close calls and there's too many like we just barely got a ways to like yeah. really care about anyone. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And like I said, I can't do it with another precocious kid, but like she was never in any real danger mm-hmm. ever. Never. No. Like. No, I mean, uh, well, I mean, uh, you know, I suppose some of this has to be on the director. It's like some of the way that he shoots his, I'm going to use this in quotes, the suspense scenes, right? Oh. Where they don't generate any suspense. I, I'm going to add to your quotes on that yeah. just so we have enough <laughs> to go the for suspense. these scenes. The suspense scenes. But there was a lot of scenes where I was sitting there, I don't know if you guys had this experience, where I was sitting there going like, I am not even sure what just happened. 
Yeah. Like it would the way he would stage it was like a shark is 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 out there swimming. It's coming closer. We cut to something. All of a sudden, there's uh you know like the shark begins to launch. It's maybe about to bite down on something. Cut to something else. Yeah. I'm like, wait, did it just kill that guy? I'm yeah. not sure. Did it kill that guy? That's how I felt too. Yeah. Like like I felt like. I was the only one not understanding this movie, especially because, like I said, we had a bad audience um, around us, and they were laughing at everything, whether it was funny or not. Everything. And so I was like, maybe I'm the idiot. It was kind of my thoughts watching this movie. Well, no, nobody you was know? laughing at my um, screening. And there was a couple times Holly leaned over, and like she was like, we laughed, like, okay, we laughed way more in Gotti than we did at watching this movie. We did. Oh, yeah. We like, did. way more at Gotti. But, like, there was a couple of times where you're like, write that down real quick. And, like, we had giggles over that, but, like, yeah. people around us were cracking the fuck up constantly. And I was oh, yeah. like, I was like, am I not watching the same movie? <laughs> Like, well, it's got to be because it's, yeah. it's like I think it's the 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 how we look at movies because this is supposed to I think they're having the reaction the filmmakers want you to have because this is but a like, fucking what am one I missing after one like well I'm, have I just I, seen too many movies yeah well that's what I'm saying yes, like I think I, yeah, we I think have that's, I think, I that's think where so we're at. yeah I think because that's where they we're want at. the audience because they're just throwing out one liners every single yeah, goddamn but none second. of them land I didn't think because and that's what I'm saying and a lot I'm of saying, them don't make sense but I'm saying a lot that of them make like you said that you were seeing this like you know you had the twenty percent fall I had like a sixty percent fall. Uh, capacity yeah. screening for this, and nobody laughed at any of the jokes. Really, mm-hmm. really, yeah. wow! Our theater was cra- could was a fucking they chuckle hut. Yeah. yeah, they no, were cracking it just, the fuck up. It was up. like you know somebody would. I can't remember some of them, but I remember you know there was like that moment where they you know there's the punchline and like it was yeah. dead silent. Somebody yeah. jumps. In yeah, the water no, like that the, was me. I'm just like mm-hmm. the only the, the character uh, DJ is the the yeah the black guy the. Yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah, because he team. kept having yeah. uh, one-liners no, and nobody our, laughed. Our at. theater ate that shit up. They loved oh, wow. him. Yeah. They loved, they loved him. Yeah, they, and like the only, I would say the only universal reaction like our theater got was when um, they kill the the first Meg, and they have it up on the boat, and the walls like taking the picture with his like head in the jaws. Everyone in the audience is like, "Ooh, don't do that!" Because we all know like, right. you don't do that. Like, because yeah. that's such a trope. We're like, "Oh, don't do that!" Yeah. Like, yeah. But that was the only universal reaction. Everything else was just like there was scattered random laughter where I was like, "Oh shit, did I miss something?" I was like, "Cause, I cause, cause like I said, I can't hear what's happening." Let me. So. The only thing that got me was Rain Wilson. Mm-hmm. By far, I thought the funniest thing in this movie. Oh, he was doing his. his he was doing. Damnedest. He did. The best, yeah. But when he's uh, standing on the boat next to the uh, the guy we all thought was her husband and everything, but is actually her dad, yeah. yeah. And Zang. he's just like, what have, "Yeah, what have I done? What is all this stuff?" And Rainy Wilson just starts walking away, going, "Ugh." Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fucking yeah. funny. Yeah. yeah. His reaction to that is like, "Why you gotta be a fucking downer?" Ugh. Right. <laughs> that was the best thing about that. It's like, yes, I get you. I understand that right now. I appreciated that character's approach to everything. Honestly, yeah. Rain, Rain Wilson's character's approach to everything. I was like, I get it. I totally get it. hundred percent. Right. His whole thing it's like, of you're like, in the right movie. His whole thing of like, I have enough money that I'm gonna hire helicopters to come take care of this problem instead of like making it a like national headline. Yeah. Or international headline, even. Yeah, I totally got it. I was like, yeah. I get, I get where this. But there was also in the movies like uh, Ode to try and make him like the villain of the movie or something. Yeah. But I did, still didn't feel it. No, I know that was shystery, but it's not like yeah, that was an, a villain, you know. But like at the same point, like he funded this whole thing, he should have the right to say how it goes, you know. Like sure. so, yeah, yeah. But I, mean, I get I, it. I, One I thing I don't get, let me mm-hmm. catch you off there for a second, mm-hmm. is that when he does kind of. I'm going to say, quote unquote, reveal his villainy at some point. Where, But when he decides, he lays out his plan and what he's going to do, mm-hmm. like like depth charge the shark. Which yeah. is awesome. That, that yeah. scene's fucking it's great. It's a great idea. But why does it feel like this billionaire yeah. mm-hmm. is now black ops? Well, it's all black ops, but <laughs> shitty black ops is like, and he, his assistant comes up and was like, we we did the best we could and we jerry-rigged this gas can with these explosives. Well, because I'm like, you're a billionaire! Get a bomb! It kind of felt but, like, like if my boss asked me to make a bomb. Right! <laughs> yeah, I'm like, like, what is this? Like you're a, a billionaire! But you a billionaire doesn't have deal? military access. You know what I'm saying? Like, a he billionaire, can fly, he like... Can hire someone. It just felt like he's like, alright, go to the hardware store, we need duct okay. tape, we need flares, and we need gas cans. For We're a, gonna blow for up this a shark. real-life example, look at Elon Musk. He's a billionaire 
can't get a rocket to go into space without exploding. You know what I'm saying? That's very like, true. but at least he, he's got like a full rocket on a platform. Yeah, and everything. but this like, guy's got but he like can't go anywhere. Explosive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's just because you're a billionaire doesn't mean you have access to as like. You should. Certain, but I, but I think know, in both situations, we're like, I tape. feel like you should have done better. I yeah. feel like you should have access to someone that can make a proper pipe bomb. I think so. <laughs> well, the bombs were the problem. Is what they were targeting was the problem. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the bombs worked just fine. It's just that it was a whale that they targeted. I got a question for you. I can't even remember if this happened before or after. I think it was before, but uh, there was there was a moment, a pivotal moment in, in the movie because yeah. basically, like once the shark gets loose, the the movie becomes like we have to catch and kill this shark. It's our problem. We got to deal with it. Uh-huh. <clears throat> um, the wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, listener. We're going to spoil this for you. The wall uh, in the scene where Michaela was talking about uh, dies. Yeah. Right. Because do you remember that happening? No, I don't. And when they said he yeah. was dead, I was like, what did I miss? Like I, I, like I said, I, I remember him being in the water and kicking. Movie. And then I remembered the shark jumping over the boat. Yeah. But he swallows him up on the way up, right? Does he? Yeah. Yeah, because he's standing there. He's standing he's there. The, the shark's hanging. No, this is when he's on the boat. He's not in the water. No, he's in the water. He's in the water. No, he he's falls, in the water. He, he falls dies. in the water. Yeah. And then he's like fl- splashing around. Right. And then all he, of a he's sudden. He's splashing around in that shot, which makes you think he's going to get eaten. Because mm-hmm. they do that with that character. That, that framing. Yeah. They, that, that framing where you know something's going to happen to this mm-hmm. character. They yeah. did it when he's you know sticking his head in the shark's mouth and everything. And when he falls in the water, you're like, he's, it's fucked up. He's done. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you're like, well, the movie's over at this point. They killed the shark. I forget. How'd they kill the shark? They, um, okay. First of all. No. Poison. Is anyone Oh, that's right. They poisoned the shark. They poisoned the shark. Is anyone thinking that at this point in the movie? No. Well, it, well, don't it, say it they felt are, like it had not. been on for an hour and a half this at this is, point. No, no, it's like 45 no. minutes. Well, no, no I know it wasn't thinks, because I've seen Jaws 3D. There's nobody, I've seen Here's the thing. Lake Placid, any Lake Placid, Placid, movie that starts with one shark. Yeah, and, and, oh, there's Anacon- another one. Anaconda. Anaconda. Every, exact, yes. every so monster movie one. ever, the misdirect is there's more than one. Wait, are you talking about some damn shark's mother? Again, I mean, I love it, so keep bringing it back. I'm all for it. Yeah, but Lake Placid has the same misdirect, too. Lake Placid. Acid is all the 87 minutes long, and they still have the same misdirect of there's two alligators or yeah. whatever. So there's you know, two like, megalodons. So there's there's the huge long, one, yeah. and then the bigger the one. The bigger one, yeah. I mean, I know I've been joking about like the scenes in this movie, so true or false audience, the shark jumps out of the water, lands on the boat, eats the other megalon, and yeah. then flops into the water. Yeah, yeah. yeah basically. Yeah. yeah, that scene was cool. I, I liked it. it. I loved it. I loved it, it. yeah. I was, <laughs> like, I was like, whatever, this is not, this is Fuck that shark. Take that shark, NATO. You know, it was kind of my thought. I'm on board for this. Yeah. It's like, like sure. Why not? Then I'm sure before we get into the third act, there's the uh, awkward romantic interlude, which we wish we would cut right out of the movie, where I think at one point... I've never wanted to fast forward so much in a movie I've been watching in theaters. Right. Did you take a note of this? Because at one point he turns like, basically, I think he's talking to her, but he basically turns toward the camera and says like... This is the worst thing I've ever done in my life, or something like Which this. Which makes the, no this sense. This is the worst, of, yeah, I worst moment know. of my life. It's when it's when her daughter basically says like, "You should fuck my mom," like Sean was saying, and he like basically looks at the camera and says, "This is the worst moment of my life." Even though because oh, yeah, they're making fun of him for something. Even yeah. though his whole life has been people accusing him of murdering other people, basically. Yeah, right. But this moment when this girl <laughs> says, "You should fuck you, my mom," is the had, worst moment in my you life. You had to make the the decision to, to let two people die. That but nobody this, ever wants to make. This is the worst moment. This is it. That nightline should have been hit the cut room floor. Fuck that. Take take that whole scene out. Take the whole romance <laughs> out. And that and the relationship between the father and daughter. The questionable father and daughter that should be right. husband and wife. Yeah. Yes, but the way that ends... They're really forcing that into that. They really want you to be emotional when he's dying and what she's the, there. Okay. And I'm just like, this is this is the the Chinese financing coming to life right yeah. here. This yeah. is why they finance the movie. I'm I can almost guarantee there was like a thing at the beginning. It's like you need to have this in here because this is for this audience. They're talking about honor and all that. And I'm we just have like, to make sure that our hero says this? you're a good person. Right, yeah. right. Why is this in the fucking movie? <laughs> yeah. Nobody. Cares. This I've, is a movie called The Meg. Give me the fucking shark and get this shit out of here. Yeah, I have a macro question about that scene, Sean. Okay, like I said, had trouble listening. Uh, yeah. Like maybe I just maybe I missed this whole fucking movie. I don't know. But why? Why did he die? I know that like everyone kind of got thrown off he the got, boat. But what killed him? He, uh, he got he, hit. The whole boat exploded. We see him right, and I from and right, but like, his head. and he's kind of floating in the water, yeah. kind of catatonic. Yeah. But what yeah. fucking killed I think, him? I think he uh, hit his head. I don't concussion. Know. Yeah, like I really, I don't because know we are not there. led to believe he's it's, like a super frail old man. He seems no, fine. He seems virile. He's yeah. Still yeah. Got, 
He seems healthier than most people my age. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He did, like I said, like we were saying, he does not look old enough to be her father. He does not. Michaela, I don't think you're missing things. Okay. I think the editing in this movie is it just it's <laughs> jumpy. It jumps from this to this, and this is what they're okay. doing. Like I, I said, I don't like think I said, it's you. No, I, I I'm movie. glad to hear that. I just wanted to like put it out there for the listeners. Maybe I'm dumb. Just in case nah. they're getting it, I'm not. You nah. know, maybe I'm an idiot, and no it sucks to listen to. But you know, <laughs> no, this, I, I'm movie. telling you what I saw. You know. Yeah. Well, I I I mean, I was sitting there thinking the whole you know when they introduced all these characters at the beginning, it's like clearly we're setting up the people who are going to get picked off one by one by the. And like two hours had gone by. Okay, that's not true. An hour and a half had gone by. And finally, the movie kills a shitload of them, it feels like. A dozen? No, a a handful. A dozen. (laughs) In one scene, right? And then from there, it's like then it sets up like the third part of the movie. Yeah. Which is like, this movie's still going. Because now we have the bigger shark. Yeah. And it is going to go toward the mainland and eat everyone at this the beach. most densely it, populated it is, beach in the world. That oh, yeah. beach made me so claustrophobic. Yeah, who the fuck would go out on a beach like that? There okay, are I mean, three I know all billion of us, China I Chinese say, people. I know all. I was gonna would. say I know all of us sitting at this table would never go to a beach like that no. because we don't like socializing yeah, I'd look with that, that many people. Like, yeah, no, nope. nah. But when nope. you're when you are asked to elbows with people, like what? 50 feet out in the water, maybe? Mm-hmm. Maybe even more? They those were people were really far, far out. out. They were way too yeah. far out. Too far. Yeah. Way too far But they all had those uh, brightly colored, colored tubes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it looked like, like a blast. What are you talking about? Yeah. That could well, be the, like, the best is, thing you like, do this summer. Where we live, if you go tubing you and you rent tubes, which I've done, like you do get, they you rent sure. a tube like yeah. it looks like that. So yeah. I assume all those people rented those tubes to go out and do that. But Probably. Well, this sets up the moment in the movie that we have been waiting for for two goddamn hours, which is is the it's going to approach the level of Piranha 3D, a no, goddamn modern classic of gory splatter when this shark tears through this entire place and limbs are flying everywhere. I'm sorry, sarcastic Colin. Will Colin. Run sarcastic red with Colin. Gore. I need you to go away right now. Yeah. This is a PG-13 movie, this man. It's a PG-13 movie. Yeah. Unfortunately, none of that I'm happened. I'm making a better movie uh, over here. Well, well, <laughs> I've been making a better movie since I watched this movie. That's all my discussions about this movie have been. It's like yeah. because every discussion I've had about this movie is that would have been cool. Mm. Every single one. Like, oh, that would have been cool. As, that would have been cool. That would have been a good heard, idea. As we've heard, this was a, a super bloody R-rated movie that got cut down. I, I don't, I don't things, believe that that I don't was believe true. it either. And I've also read well, that they I bet never it'll come out as a DVD. That they didn't put the funding forward to finish the movie. It's to finish $50 million. The, no, but the Turtle Tom said that he shot scenes that uh, would be more gory. Yeah. Or he, but he they, shot the plates for them. But, but since they're finished. visual effects heavy, they, the studio's not going to pay to finish, finish those them. scenes. So you'll that never sucks. have an unrated cut. Yeah. Statham that came sucks. out and he said that what the version that he read, he said was a different movie. It was more yeah. adult. It was gorier. Yeah. And he said, you know, when he saw it, he's like, well, it's a different movie that I made. But, you know, I don't but know I what the, paid, so. I don't know what the, you know, audience is. They're younger than me. I'm old. I like a different thing, and I lear- I've learned basically to not get attached. No, like, I, I get paid, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I take the job, I do it. That whole thing with the sub that wasn't in the script I read, but that's yeah. okay. That's my worst, like uh, Jason Statham. That's, uh, that was that's not even horrible. close. That was bad. Horrible. You're right. Yeah. That is your worst. Yeah. So, <laughs> so none of that happens none at the end of, of the movie because that's why I'm no. saying, like, no even. No but I'm blood. saying, even if no, they no were, the, he said, the Turtle Top said that they shot scenes that you would add. All the blood in later, like you have to design. I mean, like that whale corpse and stuff. was nasty as fuck. Though. That wasn't it. That whale corpse is fucking gross. Yeah, the but Rain I'm Wilson was climbing on that shit was gross. That was gross. But I'm assuming it's when you talk about like it. people getting eaten somewhere when you know because yeah. we saw. Well, we saw we 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 kind of experienced a split free, frame of somebody about to get eaten and the camera would cut away. Yeah. So I assume that there was more there that you know. Okay. Here's here's how like how hard of a time I've had with this movie. <laughs> Ruby Rose lived, right? I don't remember. Yeah. See, see exactly. <laughs> no, she you did. don't remember. She did. She's she did? On, she's right. On, she's well, on the I don't remember the either. End. Because like there's, there's a there's, yacht like, at the end. Yeah. Because there's oh, yeah, like the wedding, the wedding, the wedding, the wedding, oh, yeah, the wedding party. Oh shit! The one with Pippin, Pippin. the dog. Pippin yeah, the dog. Pippin. That's the dog, that, dog, the dog that also doesn't get killed. When I but. saw that, well, because at that point in the movie, that's the point of that dog. They don't commit to anything in this movie. I'll tell you, the dog is stands in for the little girl, right? Because she's, uh, I think, already been rescued, and so there's this wedding happening, and one of those kind of like slice of life things of all the people are partying on this beach or on this yacht. 
and the dog goes in the water. And I sat there going, like, Holly's going to flip out watching this movie because the dog's in the water. I didn't give a fuck about that dog. And then the fucking fucking shark comes up and eats the dog. And I'm like, oh, my God. Holly's going to lose her mind. Yeah. That, but that dog would not even register as like a crumb going down that shark's throat. So this it should is, eat it. Uh, most of problem. the shark's uh, diet wouldn't register. I think. This yeah. is my other problem. It's too big. It's too big. It's not going to just chomp a dude in half like a regular shark might. It's just going to swallow shit. You if think it gets it, too it's big. It's going to be like a baleen whale, right? Where it's going right. to take it. Like, because whales take in everything and it filters in. through their like, yeah, comb. That's yeah. all that's going to happen yeah. with this shark. If it's too big. It's not going to just bite people in half. <laughs> Listen, which is what you want in a shark just, movie. It's going to inhale them. <laughs> Listener, That's if you're it. if you're a, if you're a marine biologist, please write in and tell, tell us about the oh, yeah, biology yeah. of sharks. But like, and that <laughs> I would love to have that conversation. That's why the only scene that kind of sort of worked for me was like when um uh, Lee Bing Bing was in the the shark cage the, that Ruby Rose designed, which is like where I hate Ruby Rose the most in this movie. When she's like, it's not going to break, and I'm like, oh, that means calm it's definitely going to break. Bitch, first of all, mm-hmm. like. Like I, I just like I said, I hate that character of like the computer hacker that like knows how to solve everything. I just I can't deal with that character in any movie. But um, when like that shark is like swallowing the thing whole, that was kind of a cool scene. It's kind of cool, you know. Yeah. And like the design of the shark cage w- looked pretty modern and pretty cool compared to what we know as shark cages to be now. Yeah, it's basically I, a yeah. plastic jar, but with lights on the yeah. end. Oh, I yeah. wanted yeah. it's the future. I yeah. wanted the shark to swallow her. I want so her to be. I wanted, her to, I wanted be, somebody I wanted her to be alive. Yeah. yeah. In the thing. Oh in yeah. The shark. Yeah. Oh, so you want her to be Owen Wilson and kind of you see her face up against the side no, of the I shark? No, I want her to be alive. Yeah. And broadcasting. Get out of it from yeah. the inside of the shark. Yeah, I want her to be a, inside the shark and I have Jonah to Jonah and the whale it. situation. Yes. Yeah. I want her in the uh, Jonas the and the whale. Jonas and the whale. Megalodon. There it is. They set me up for that one. So, so I, get one I can't remember if Statham, uh, well, Statham, there's a scene where Statham has to swim out to the shark and inject it with a tracker. There's this a lot might of, have been my favorite stuff going scene. on with trackers right, in this movie. Yeah, trackers. Well, he has to swim out. He's a dead shot, apparently. First yeah. shot, he gets because it. Because I'm like, yeah. there's that scene where he like, you know, he's like swimming out and then he has to. No s- mask, no tank, nothing. Yep. And then he Just has to wetsuit. like kind of stand up so he can Just shoot the thing, right? And he's at water level, but somehow he's not like paddling he's just like uh smile you son of a you yeah. know and shoots the thing how do you what was he standing on well, well you can you can tread with, with your legs you can tread with yeah. your legs oh come on he just stood like okay, he's a, whatever he's a, did you see the abs on him he's a strong oh, yeah. yeah he was pretty ripped he's a man of a, he can do anything because he he's jason we see him fucking statham multiple times in this movie he's, he's pretty ripped he's, he's jonas he's statham very, yeah. jonas yeah. statham <laughs> We saw, okay. Oh my god, that's just a switching of the letters, isn't it? Oh my... Whoa, guys. Sorry, I had to move <laughs> there. It is. It, it is. Oh is that god, the character's name in the book? Is that the other? Oh my god. Jonas is uh, Jonas yeah. oh, okay. the same last yeah, name? But like, Jonas Taylor, yeah. <laughs> but like, okay. if you don't know about the book, that seems very lazy. Yeah, Jason Jonas? Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Uh, so we did see a good example of uh, his diving skills a couple times. Oh yeah, that motherfucker's fast. Professional yeah. diver. I yeah. thought Jason he swam Statham. faster than the shark in some scenes. I think he did. Yeah, I, I mean, that's big possible. Di- big Every shark it. swims a million miles per hour. Well, you haven't tried to out swim yeah, fucking clock. Jason Statham. A miles. Hey. I, every every single new shark movie, they're the fastest fucking things in the ocean. Uh, big does not mean fast. Oh, this agree. movie never says it's that either. The movie never says it's the fastest shark. It just says it's the, the biggest. biggest. It should be slow. Big there, there should be tsunamis Sharks. based off the size of the shark. <laughs> just I mean, by it, like, just by swishing it its tail. Through water. If yes. nothing else, why does their boat not capsize from the waves the shark's creating, if nothing else? Right? Why does the boat not capsize when the shark jumped on top of it? Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yes. it's not convenient to the There's plot. A lot of ballast, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um,. Yeah, so there is the there's a uh, you know a chase sequence between the shark, uh, you know, and Statham. He's being towed in a boat, yeah. and you know he's kicking at the thing as he right. rescue scene. I like that they stopped towing him and told him to swim. Yeah, did you yeah. catch that? That well, made because, no sense. They're yelling at him, "Come on, come on, tow him!" Like he can swim, swim faster swim. than they can tow yeah, him. That makes faster. no sense. He can swim faster than he can tow him. And he's Jason they, fucking they Statham on again, and they. Should I mean, have he is pretty super. Yeah. Jason Statham. Yeah. Yeah. He will not get broken yeah. in half. Yeah. Being tugged. This is a movie where Jason Statham, unfortunately, folks, I hate to break it to you, does not get to drop kick a single person. He stabs in the eye pretty awesome. He stabs though. in the eye. Like I appreciated the um the like devil may care attitude of his character in this yeah. movie. Lucky him. 
Yeah. No, the, his attitude was probably my Because, like I said, part. he never went yeah. with an oxygen tank or a mask ever into the ocean. He just went with maybe a wetsuit at most. Yeah. And then was just like, sure, give me one fucking tracking yeah. device bullet and that's it. Yeah. I'll get it because I'm a dead shot. And I, then, you know. Yeah, like, I actually really enjoyed the scene when he opens the hatch and his ex-wife sees him for the first time. And instead of being excited, she's like, oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even Tell though she's stabbed the in the gut, good, yeah. she's like, oh. Like, she's dying. That's real. Yeah. That <laughs> that's real. Yeah. That cracked me yeah. up. And then his, oh. his line of um, world's best, I told you so, I thought that was funny. Yeah, yeah. I like well, it. Well, there you go. So it was working. <laughs> yeah. Within I liked the first that. 45 no, minutes. See, I like I liked them in this movie. Yeah, That's that what my buddy funny. said to me. Because I told him the whole thing about, like, I'm not looking forward to this movie. And I laughed at, like, two things. He's like, see, you're enjoying it. I'm like, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Just let the movie <laughs> wash over you. I yeah. just liked uh, the reckless abandon it. with yeah. which he went into things. Yeah, just yes. go for it. I mean, it made no sense. But, like, but like he was just like, that's why he was That's why you're here. That's why you're here. I wish the filmmakers had adopted making this movie. Reckless abandon. And yeah. Just go for it. Just go yeah. for it. Statham's, go for something. Statham's willing to do it. You should be willing to do it. You know, yeah. I, like Statham is. Statham is on a level in this movie that I wish everyone else had gotten to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he's up here, and everyone else is like not even trying to get up there. Yeah, it's, it's just, just like, <sighs> like he did. He did his damnedest. Like I think he did his best like in this he movie. Had, he yeah, could, I but. I like um, his character had zero hesitation for anything. They're like, yeah. well, you're going to have to get in the water. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. I loved it. I'll be human bait. Yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah. Let's you do know? it. Which one of it. you is going to do it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going. I liked yeah. it. Yeah. I'm in the water. <laughs> Boom. It's like, almost yeah. like we survived. Yeah. We'll and he actually dove with sharks to train for this movie. He, well, That's of course cool. he would because he's Jason Statham. Yeah, right. he is. Yeah. The I unkillable like Jason um, Statham. Um, now, by killable. saying that, I've killed him. Yeah. Uh, I hope he does. He's fine. He's fine. We're all going to get Google alerts right now for Jason Statham dead. He's fine. He's got a baby, you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I hope I didn't kill Jason Statham. I'm so sorry. The dog also makes it. Fuck. Spoiler. Alexa, is Jason Jason Statham still alive? Does anyone want to keep going, Jason? Jason? Jason Statham still alive. <laughs> she said yes. Still our in studio Alexa <laughs> answered our question and said yes. You Jason Statham is still yes, alive. Still alive. <laughs> Thank God for that. Thank you, Alexa. He's a national treasure. Yeah, appreciate he, it. In a different no? nation. No? Yeah. Okay, fine. Mm-hmm. Well, all right. So that brings us to what could possibly be the most exciting moment of the show, which is Maybe. our mailbag. We're going to do that first. Then we'll come back oh, yeah. and, uh, and uh, tell you all about the movie. So, Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Thank you, Igor. His head is actually like a shark's fin. That's weird. Yeah. Well, that's deepest blue. Wrong movie. Yeah. Deep, they, I appreciate your effort. Hey, yeah. Mickey, you're so yeah. fine. You're so fine. Appreciate oh, your I effort. I mentioned that. The, 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 time the, when time, he's, the Hey, Mickey version. Mickey version, version Mickey. Which, like you said, makes no sense, but I'm like, I'm for no, it. I, I dug it. But I'm like, like I I'm dug why? it. Was it's it in, why? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it's in there. It's maybe it's a popular thing. Again, this is all the the Chinese funded the gravity stuff. pictures. Yeah, so yeah. it's all. We got to give you something that you know, so you can come over into the. But we like, if you're gonna do that, make it water. that like okay. Here, here's how you write it better. You make it that like Jason Statham has like a hype song that he listens to right before he goes into a dive, right? And then make it whatever song you want. Jason, you know, write so it. Fun. Yeah. So See, like, I don't. I don't even need that. I like the randomness about it. Listen, but it was the only me. song that we heard in the movie, right? No, like he we sang the fucking Finding Dory song or something. Which was weird. Was I thought that was funny. That was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> See, it was working. Okay, but he working. sang it. You didn't actually hear the song oh, yeah. like, right, yeah. over. But like, that was the only actual what pop song we heard in the movie, right? Like, mm. there was nothing else that was not yeah. score. No, well, that's score. the other thing, and that's the only thing that wasn't on score, but like, the score of this movie Intense. So, intense? I, thought, I, didn't, I think I it was overly intense. About, like, intense when it didn't need to it. be. There's nothing. I can hear and I mean, I've had more time with Deep Blue Sea, obviously, than I've had with the Meg. Right. Sure. But yeah. I can hear that score. The sounds mm-hmm. that they uh, constructed for that movie, mm-hmm. like, I got it. It's in my head, and yeah. I know it. Yeah, no, it was this, overwrought for this movie, is what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I'm, it was intense possibly, too much I thought it was time. appropriate. I, I don't, I don't know. I'm just saying I don't remember anything about it. Yeah. 
But I don't remember what... most movie scores anymore, and I used to pay attention to them, and now yeah. everything sounds it's the all, same. It's all sounds. Um, <laughs> Us so, old men got to stick to I know. It all yeah, sounds the it. same. It's like, damn you, Hans Zimmer. And, and, and I, I'm this old, is... too, because I'm like, I can't hear any of this going. <laughs> yeah. It's like Klaus Baudel. Like, just just wandering like, I can't the hear back any dialogue. Of everything, just going, what's going on? I've got like that big horn, like listening horn kind of thing from the old day, like, up to the IMAX speaker being like, what is Jason Statham oh, saying? I love that joke. You're just like, oh, I'm just saying. Could you all put subtitles on, please? Well, let's remind the good folks at home how oh, yeah. they can write in and join the fun of the Saturday Night Freak Show uh, by uh, following us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or follow us on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show for the time of your life. We didn't do this in the beginning. That's what threw me off. I'm yeah. just like, the beginning sometimes, feels weird. What do we miss? Sometimes no. we, we didn't forget. Do it in the it's okay. Yeah. No, it's right. fine. Like, right. it. We need a list. At some we, point, we you figure 292 episodes. You need an itinerary. We're almost at 300. Script. It's been doing. It's been going for six You've years. You've been here for list. every one of them. Six years, Colin. You don't need a list. figure it this down. You think? No. Okay, so about the Meg, Chris Keenan writes in and says, whoa, it's kind of weird you guys are doing such a recent release, but since I trust the crew's opinion, I will probably base whether or not I will see this film on your review. Well, that's that's uh, that's a lot of pressure now. Thanks. It's really not that I much feel pressure. no pressure. Yeah. Now. <laughs> this is what we do every week. Yeah. But uh, no thank pressure. you very much, but Chris. Like we appreciate... They have to go to the theater and spend money to see yeah. it. That's, well, that's the difference. Oh, yeah. see, that's, that's yeah. part of my review. Uh, Brent Zemecki writes in and says, I've been waiting for this day for years. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on the Meg and hopefully the book too. Fingers crossed that the movie is awesome. I will say that comment alone is why I read some of the book today. Oh, yeah. All right. I was like, one of us should have some knowledge of this sure. goddamn book. <laughs> yeah, because I've, I've never read it. Yeah. Like, I don't know anyone no. other than you that's read it. Yeah. Like, so. But there's five of them. So must yeah. be go, like a... go read all five megs. No. Uh, Jonathan, <laughs> Jonathan Holt writes in and says, I read the book years ago and have been waiting on this movie for a long time and a lot of directors. The book had a B-movie vibe and the movie looks super That's promising. Cool. I love the show and I can't wait to hear everyone's thoughts. Make sure Igor stays out of the water. Ugh. He he's, has I mean, he's he pretty slimy. He's fine. He has you know? little floaties. He's yeah. okay. He, yeah, I don't. I feel like he would dissolve if he went into the water. Oh, see, I feel like he kind of creates like an oil slick around him. Right. He's I so think greasy. There's probably you know? a layer on him yeah. that comes off. And if just he goes like a little water. like, yeah. like you know, like yeah. the greasy yeah. shine that like right. oil gets yeah. on top you of water. You can probably light yeah. it on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's. I feel like that's. I feel like that's him. He's grimy. Take a bath. It's like an oil floaty. You know. Yeah. Well, Andrew John says I can't wait for the mag. I love shark movies, but. Did I just read how it was originally super violent and gory and they cut all the good stuff out to make it PG-13? Mm-hmm. I want that version, but still super excited. Yeah, I agree. As as an adult that does yep. not have any children in my life, I agree. Give yeah. me all the R ratings I can get. Yes. As an adult that does, give me all the R ratings. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, exactly. Cool. So, now you got so PG-13 Venom, too. And, and, oh. and as an adult who acts like a child, that's what I want, <laughs> too. Yeah. Uh, HP <laughs> writes in and says, am I the... Packard? Hewlett Packard. Am I the only one? We're going to keep making that joke. Yeah. You keep coming back to us. Yes. We'll keep making that we'll joke. But thank stop. you. Thank you for coming. That's, yeah. You're part of the, part of the crew. I like that I keep giving, getting to say that, so keep doing it. Yeah. Am I the only one that won't allow my dog in the ocean after Jaws? And now this, P.S., did you catch the name that the dog in this one is Pippin, which is the same name as the oh, dog in is. Jaws? Oh, she is. That's right. Yes, I did catch that. Pippin. I mean, my dog's Pippin. like my child, I it was so. Pippin. No. Like how it sounds. I think he's, uh, Pippin? Pippin. In New okay. England. Pippin. So, yeah. Just that accent. Yeah. I knew it was yeah. close, and yeah. I knew what they were trying to do. I mean, <laughs> I don't. I would get allow it. my dog. I get it. Oh, it's a dog yeah. in a shark movie. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was a shit scream. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're smart. Oh. Ugh. You, you wanted to fight seething. this movie, Sean? What? Did, did you go up to the screen? You're like, you think you're I kind of smart, I'm huh? Like, you think you're so <laughs> fucking smart, huh? And then I grabbed my hip and I walked out. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, about our and previous... And you're like, wait, I didn't <laughs> like me, you're old. Like, ah, what'd you say, Sonny? <laughs> about our previous episode, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, DJ Mathis 12 writes in and says, the clowns drinking blood from people wrapped up in cotton candy cocoons. This was my nightmare as a kid. <laughs> as it should be. Yeah. That yeah. crazy yeah. straw, yeah. especially. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, my Unfab Life writes in and says, another great show and another fun movie. 4.5 balloon animals out of five. Still hoping you slot layer of the white worm into your schedule sometime. It's on my list. Yeah, we all got a list, I man. I hearing about this. I've yeah. never yeah. seen this movie. And uh, Fresno Film Buff writes in to say, don't forget, John Vernon was also in Ernest Goes to Camp. 
Oh, that's right. Well, John Byrne. I mean, he I'm was, not an uh, earnest expert, but Mooney, Officer Mooney, mm-hmm. Dean Wormer, Mr. Big. I'm just throwing out. No, his, you're just yeah. saying Did things. You? <laughs> <laughs> Were you here for Killer, Killer Clowns? Clowns? Yeah. The yeah. sheriff? The sheriff. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Sean, Sean, there he is. Gotcha. Officer there Mooney. That wasn't the yeah. sheriff. He was still an officer. Oh, the, the sheriff was out of the chief yeah. was out of town. Just, yeah. What Whatever. did I just wow. see him in? I think I watched. Oh, he was in MacGyver. I, at work, I'm watching MacGyver, and he was in MacGyver. Yeah. So that okay. guy had to see those same masks in two movies, is what you're saying? Wait. No, no. he's saying no, he, he was in goes, in to J- goes to camp. camp. Yeah. 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 Not scared stupid. But the man about that. Right. Yeah. I forgot yeah. about that. That's a good connection. I need to do an earnest rewatch, maybe. Well, I'll tell you what, listener. You want to know, did we like the Meg? Would we recommend the Meg to you? Colin! The unsuspecting. Yes? Colin! Colin? Sean just wants to get it over with. Colin. Yes, Sean? He wants to end it. What do you think about this fucking movie? What do I think of the Meg? Okay, the here's... The Meg! Uh, I was kind of excited by the prospect of a big budget, aren't we? All? Uh, stupid shark no, movie. No, you were not. No, I was you not. tried, Sean. Sean. And I'm going to stand by that. Sorry. You've been complaining that, about it for a long time. Yeah, Sean did not want to go that see I this movie. I did not want to see this. <laughs> that's right. He had to pay to go see this film. So that's you know, but that's the thing. I mean, we're all kind of uh, usually we watch movies, we bring them over and you know sit down and watch them here. So on a new release, pay, pay, you kind of have that. Well, I know, but it's not like full price and right. We did it for, PM. The, we did it for it, it. it. We're going to do it for Halloween. Right. Yeah. It, oh yeah, it, it. I was trying to think it, of when the last. It happens one went, like twice a year. Right, it yeah. happens but like I'm twice saying, a year. But this is like yeah. paying full price travel. Yeah, but this is stuff. what I'm I'm trying to say is that that colors I think say? your expectation the way you judge a movie. Uh-huh. I'm harder on a movie that I pay to go see in a theater sure. than I am one that I watch you know in the comfort of my own home. But uh, and you know, so I, I was kind of like, yeah, this is going to be the stupid movie of the summer. And I guess the thing that it uh, equated to me in my mind, and maybe this is unfair, but I was bringing uh, Piranha 3D into the movie theater with me because Piranha was one of those movies that like this is stupid and this is going to suck, and you go see it and like the tone of that movie, uh, the the Alex Aja movie was like just pitch perfect. There's no heavy drama, and that what's no. the most dramatic fucking thing in that movie? Big like they don't loses his legs. I think well, <laughs> maybe the, the isn't the man that met the met the the legend Paul Shear in that movie as well, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. there you go. You're walking into a movie with Paul Shear and Ving Rhames. You, your mean, expectations are tempered. But that means that's the thing. It has like a tone, and it also it's an exploitation movie, so it's full of boobs and blood, and you know, 3D piranhas swimming out in your face, and all this other stuff. Stuff. I mean, and Adam Scott. Yeah, I yeah, mean, exactly. It has Adam Scott, a good yeah. group of performers, but it, I think what I was hoping for was the tone because that's a good bad movie, almost yeah. to like it's actually a good movie. It has self awareness. Yes, right. Yeah. In a Which way, the that, Meg has yeah. the Meg has self awareness, but it. I don't know. I mean, it was that was why I was like. I couldn't figure out why they were trying to make it so serious. And I mean, that's, uh, you're, you know. Why it, so serious? Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it was like there the were scenes question. where I'm just like. <laughs> the eternal question. Post Heath Ledger, yes. The well, actually, question. here you go. I'll, I'll lay this out this way. I liked the first, like, third of the movie. I was kind of uh, enamored of all the technology and stuff. And, you know, the like, this is futuristic and stupid, but like, okay. And I like the environment, and I like the whole, we got to go rescue someone. And you don't see the shark at all through this entire period. And it was about the time the shark showed up, I was like, okay, now we're kicking into the second half of the movie, which is we got to go kill the shark. And I'm like, I'm less interested in this. And there's action scenes, and, you know, it's like we're going to cut away from anything that's actually happening so you don't have an impact at all. And, like, what what I just see? I'm not even sure. But it just happened. Yeah. And then... Uh, and then the third act kicks in, and I think before the third act had happened, I had lost interest in the say, movie. It just, it, yeah, I was. I was like, is this fucking thing over yet? We already had the shark. Then we had another shark. Then we had, like, all these catastrophes. Then the boat explodes. Then the hook, ex- you know, unhatches. And then her uh, her diving uh, can has to sink. And, like, I'm like, you remember... The Abyss was like this underwater movie that took place in a, you know, a, a sealed environment with a bunch of, well, I mean, I'm not scientists, but people working together, but they felt real, you know, and like James Cameron, say what you will about this guy. 
He can write characters. I know you guys haven't seen Avatar, which shocks the hell out of me. But this is why you should see Avatar. Because even if the idea is stupid, like James Cameron makes it compelling because he can write actual people. John Turtletob, I'm not blaming you, sir, because you didn't fucking write he, he the goddamn thing. He pushed out the minimum viable product. No, because he's, he's another hack movie, like the, other, the guy we were talking about uh, last week, Rob Cohen. It's like yep. they make the movie, but they're not emotionally invested in it. This is a That's, job that, that you do. That is a very good this. parallel, actually. But I think I'm they're saying, on the same level. But the writer sucks because the writers are writing like this is supposed to represent a human emotion it's not the actual human emotion yeah. this is the facsimile of it mm -hmm. because we have to put all these people together and like somehow generate some kind of drama and so this stands for uh somebody who's lost somebody mm -hmm. this stands for somebody who's really happy to have seen or met a new person in their life this is you know it's, it represents it, but it's not actually the thing. So it doesn't function as a drama. And I'm like, why are you even trying this? Just cut the whole fucking, you know, romance subplot, dramatic subplot out of it. Just give us more Killer Shark. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, if you're going to give us Killer Shark, then it's got to be, you know, a crazy bloodbath over the top. That's what you want. Over the mm -hmm. top. I want Jason Statham. You want setting you want that Stallone grenade arm up, wrestling a shark? Yes. Over the top? Yeah. Over the top. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yeah. I wanted something I that, uh, that was actually cool. I didn't get that. I got a lot of like, mm -hmm. I mean, I just seen Mission Impossible Fallout like the week before where Tom Cruise, crazy man, is actually doing his own stunts and you think this guy's going to die. There's nothing like that. And that, like every stunt that happens was like, well, that he, this is him rolling into frame after the CGI stunt with double yeah. did the first part of it. Yeah. There's and it wasn't even like the, this is the part of the set that's real. It's this tiny little corner that we're <laughs> shooting on. And the shot before that that was the establishing thing was all made in the computer. And it's like it, there's no suspense there. It's just pfft. so I definitely would not recommend that you pay money to go see this movie. I mean, even if you like sharks, I'm saying this is like I thought it sucked, but I thought Deep Blue Sea sucked. I don't know. So uh <laughs> I didn't like the I like you know uh, the first whatever forty five minutes. Then after that, pfft. so I don't even know if it's worth a rental. Probably, but not worth pull price. I don't know. I didn't like it. Uh, Sean would. <laughs> your your review makes me feel righteous, Colin. In my uh -oh, feelings, here we, here we go. No, 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 I'm not. No, because I know like, and that's the only thing I'm going to mention about it. Because it's 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 a dick move to be like I was right. That's just, <laughs> that's just dumb and just like it's not. You know, you, you. I'm sure other people enjoyed this movie, and that's fine. My my hey, feelings. So just 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 for for freak show history, you enjoyed Anaconda, you uh, enjoyed Alligator, yeah. so you do like monster movies. Oh yeah, I'm just just uh, setting no, that up. No, no, just saying, right. like, so now like, we got to find not, out why I'm you didn't like this. Not, one. Why it's like not this that one? you hate this whole genre. No, 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 as a no, whole. Not, no, not at yeah. all. No, I'm willing, but I will base those movies on their because own I, merits. If I remember correctly, you recommended those two movies, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll recommend so, okay. the hell out of those it's not that you I was hate listening whole... to Anaconda on the way over right. here tonight. I'm just saying, it's not that, it's not that this is a genre you hate in general. No, I'm trying to not get at all. Right. No, because like, okay. like I said, it's I'll specific base... specific to this movie, not right. the genre. I yeah. will base it on... Okay. I, I try my best to base it on the movie, not just the genre. I won't yep. dismiss it offhand. But I'm going to say, this is a $150 million movie, and what... A waste of a hundred and fifty million dollars because this is a movie called The Meg. It's about a megalodon, and they take that concept and do nothing with it. Anything in this movie is something you could see in a different movie that doesn't have a megalodon. What are you gonna do That's with a, a giant shark? That's a good point. That mm -hmm. is unique to having a movie with a giant shark. They don't do anything in this movie that is unique to having a huge ass shark. The filmmakers do not have the imagination uh, something to... Because they don't care. It's minimum viable it, I, product. It, it's, it's something. It's I what can know. I get that's a movie that's done and out. I don't know what it is, but they don't... Like, there's got to be some unique situation with a ten times larger than normal shark that you can get your characters into that is like, oh, that's cool. I haven't seen that. Because you should have those moments with a movie with a giant fucking shark. Mm -hmm. They do... It's frustrating when they don't do anything with what could be a really cool idea, and mm -hmm. they do nothing. That's with a very this valid idea. point. and that's all I wanted. Like, even if they if they had done something cool or unique to this, maybe you don't need like the blood and guts of it. That's also a downfall of this movie because if you're going to see a movie, it's all in the title. If you're going to see a movie called The Meg. It's a shark movie. Mm -hmm. I don't need them to keep it in the dark at the beginning of this movie. Although there's some, like Colin said, there's some interesting stuff at the beginning of this movie that I do enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I do enjoy, like, Rain Wilson's thing. And I I kind of get Jason Statham 
like as an actor and stuff and I'm sure he's better in other movies but he's like he's all right in this one but they don't do anything with this idea and it's boring I'm like I've seen this before I've seen that before this is not interesting I know he's going to die and nothing is there's, there's nothing in this movie that's compelling for a giant shark movie I cannot recommend this. Uh, I you shouldn't see it at all. I wouldn't even. This is not. It's not worth getting off of Redbox because they don't do anything that a you haven't seen before or is unique to having a giant shark in your movie. It's like the ultimate sin for something like this. You get a cool idea and do nothing with it. So I, I just I, I can't recommend it. There's not even like good good enough character moments to. To re- for me to be able to recommend this movie to you, ah, they wasted so much opportunity with this. It's it's a fucking crime at this point. Um, I don't recommend the Meg. I don't think you should see it. I'm gonna calm down now. <laughs> <clears throat> and hopefully this is the last time I have to talk about this movie. Michaela, what did you think about you, the Meg? <laughs> you brought up some very good points that I did not think of. So I do appreciate like that I am am coming after you for that. I've kind of been on the fence with this movie since we saw it last night. I've been really trying to, like, let my brain, like, marinate in it because, like, I mean, I went in with really low expectations of, like, this is going to be a very rote derivative movie that I've seen before a million times. And that's exactly what it was. And as much as I appreciate everything Rain Wilson and Statham are bringing, um, because they are trying their hardest more than anyone else in this movie. Mm -hmm. Um, Granted, some of these actors are speaking in a language that is not their first language, which I understand is a challenge on delivery and tone and things like that. Yeah. Um, but, I, you know, I've kind of been on the fence since I saw it because, like, there are really cool mo- moments of this movie that I love, but I don't know if watching the long moments of exposition... Uh, I say expo- exposition in quotes. <laughs> because, like, because like it's not important. Like, it's worth it because, uh, like, Colin, you said you like the first 40 minutes where I was like, this first 40 minutes is going fucking slow as fuck. I'm like, let's get to the shark killing, you know? Yeah. And, um... And then it starts with the shark killing, and then it slows down for another 30 minutes until it picks up again. I, mm-hmm. I did not care for that, like, up and down pacing of the movie. I think it's, sh- it sh- you know, we watched The Boy Next Door last week, and that movie from the jump, like, gets off on it, you know? <laughs> It gets off. Literally. Yeah. Gets off. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, like, I appreciate a faster-moving movie, and I kind of got to wonder if, like, maybe a smaller studio would have benefited better from this movie, you know? <coughs> maybe. maybe it would have been more efficient, you know, in its time and its usage of its resources. Maybe. Because, um, again, we're getting in a movie called The Meg. We all know yeah. what we're yeah. getting here. Let's yeah. get yeah, to let's it. Yeah, let's get to it. Exactly. Yeah. Like, especially because this movie is not... it's. It's not reinventing the wheel. It's not doing anything we haven't seen before. Right. Forty seven meters down we had more suspense than this. And that was like what, two years ago? Yeah. A year ago? Yeah. Year ago, yeah. The sh- I'd yeah. go back and watch the shallows again. That's mm-hmm. that's the thing. Like this movie's not doing anything we haven't seen before. Um, like Sean was saying, like if you're gonna, it should be with the the the, sc- the scope and the, the scale of this movie. Um, so that's I really struggled with a lot of that and the yeah. romantic angle really took me out of it. <laughs> I want someone to get slightly chomped and have a giant megalodon tooth stuck in them on the beach going, ah! Yeah, well, the, like the, I want shit like that. Yeah, the, there, like I said, there was too many fake outs of like, oh, did that that person had too many close calls? There was way too many close calls in this movie for the stakes to mean anything. Like you do that too many times, and it's just like, well, there it 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 doesn't mean anything. It took a so, really long time for someone to actually get mm-hmm. killed by the yeah, shark. Yeah, yeah, it really did. And yeah. all the characters felt like like B movie versions of characters you had seen before in other movies. Like like we said we said DJ felt like LL Cool J or you yeah know, he did you know like uh it, it it's all things you've seen before and that's unfortunate i feel like this movie is kind of written with like fast and the furious mad libs like <laughs> you're like noun i uh i have a shark and uh a person uh jason statham and uh, uh underwater <laughs> la- like it feels like because yeah. like this feels like it could have been fan fiction for fast and the furious that just happened to have a shark in it like yeah. especially oh, with how ridiculous been better if it was fast and the furious with a shark in it <laughs> But that's what those movies are, driving, right? Because we have driving? to capture the shark. Is the shark driving the car? <laughs> Something. Like, there or they're driving are, there cars are su- into, a yeah, into a shark. It is a yeah. giant yeah. shark. They have to drive cars and somehow tow the shark. It's because there, there are submarines. There are submarines in Fast and the Furious, so there anything is possible. Yeah, so go. the fact that they're like they're subs in this movie, so you know that's why I'm like this feels like they saw a Fast and the Furious movie and was like, let's just put like Mad Libs a shark into that, right? You know. Yeah. So it wasn't the movie I wanted it to be. Um, 
I tried to find the good in it. There was a couple good moments, but like I said, I can't, I cannot say that you should go out and see this in theaters. I would say rent it and fast forward through the all the exposition just to the shark fighting scenes yeah. so i don't think i would recommend it i don't think i would which kills me because i really want to be able to recommend it but i just don't think i can mm-hmm. i've talked enough holly <laughs> um it was exactly what i thought it was gonna be through and through exactly what i thought it was gonna be um i had i hoped for slightly more but in my heart i was like i know what i know the movie i'm about to see and it was exactly that. Um, you sound happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I set my expectations yeah. low, yeah. and they were met. It's never going to yeah. like, This is exactly what I thought. My it was. expectations were pretty low. <clears throat> well, my expectations were like low, they were and met. they yeah. weren't met. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, I, that being said, like I wasn't. I didn't leave angry. I was just like, all right. I saw that movie. Like <laughs> it was. It Completed. was check mark. Yeah, I was like, yeah. all right. It's, it's just a compilation of you know moments I've seen from Jaws and moments I've seen from Deep Blue Sea and The Abyss and and you know like just name every fucking water movie ever. Like mm-hmm. it's just a derivative movie. It's it's generic. It's de- it's not the fucking megalodon. Like you know, I've I've been obsessed with sharks like since I was a kid. I love sharks. I love shark movies. I obviously have a fucking megalodon tooth here on the on the bar. But um, like, I was like, this is not the fucking megalodon. Like it's not this massive scary monster I want it to be. You know, not a monster movie. Not not monster movie worthy. You know, um, yeah it. They, I agree with I agree with Sean. Like, why didn't you do more with a fucking megalodon? Why? I, I just don't understand. You had 150 million dollars, and this is what you came up with. I, this entire fucking movie, all I fucking wanted was the shark to take down a helicopter. You said, okay, right. you, that's you all the opportunities. I want you to nudge that. You, like, when we're in the theater, you're like, you're like, it's going to take down the helicopter. You said like three times, and it did. never happened. It never happened. I know. It never that's happened. all I wanted. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, oh, there's a helicopter. It's going to jump up and yes. eat it. That's all I wanted. For that, you got to go back to Jaws so 2. So much opportunity. <laughs> Even that's, Jurassic World did like things closer to that. Yeah. I know. Like, I was like, right. I'm aware. Wow. That, I'm aware. Wow, we're saying this. Wow. Yeah. Wow, like, we're I'm giving more credit to Jurassic, Jurassic World. World than this. Yeah. That, yeah. that hurts. That hurts. Yeah, you're right. Hurts a lot. No, <sighs> especially because that helicopter was so close. It, it was, was so close, close. multiple close. times. Yeah, that was there was like five helicopters that got close enough to the water. Not to mention, like, if it's an ancestor of the Great White, that means it can breach, which means it can jump the fuck out of the water, and it never did. Why didn't it jump straight up out of the water? D- it should have. Why? It jumped it over a fucking boat. Yeah, right. it should have jumped. Is that not good enough for you? No, Holly? it's not. It's not. I knew. I knew this. Not is, for a hundred fifty no. million dollar movie. It's not. <laughs> not yeah. for a movie that puts a fucking helicopter I, I, yeah. that close to the goddamn water. I completely water. agree with what you're saying earlier. I knew this was PG thirteen going into it. I knew there wasn't going to be blood and gore, but there should have been stuff to make up for that. There should yeah. have been breaching out of the water and taking a fucking helicopter out of the sky. There Sean, like, have been, yeah, you really brought up a good yes. point when you said like the scale of the movie does not match the scale of the shark. Like yes, that really yeah, is absolutely what it comes down to. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. There, this is not this is not a megalodon shark attack. It's just a shark. Mm-hmm. It, it's yeah, it's, it's not, yeah. It could be any size shark at this some, point because it doesn't yeah. do anything it, special it for its size. Somebody yeah. at work was like, um, because they hadn't seen it yet, but they'd seen all the trailers and everything, and they know the beach scene where it's all packed and condensed. Is like, uh, he's like, as long as there's a scene where he that shark is just floating up with its mouth open and people are just <laughs> vacuums people, mouth, in. And, I looked, and we all looked and went, nope. And nope. he's like, what? <laughs> yeah. You know, yep. uh, I don't think yep. anybody he dies. He drags an anchor scene. around. Nobody dies. <laughs> he drags a couple anchors he around. He does not I, kill. I, th- I a think they do, but I keep. Uh, You're right. He drags them? a couple anchors around. He yeah, runs into some, oh, he, yeah, yeah, he runs God. into some platforms in the middle. Because right of as he's like, about to eat yeah. the ball, they turn on the it's fucking the dolphin call or whatever. Yeah. It's away. basically Jaws pulling the buoys. It's yeah. like the same That's thing. Because he's got three of them. That's exactly what I thought too. He's got three of them. Same thing. Yeah, I know. See, we all could write a better movie right now if we tried. 
I, we all uh, drunkenly wrote a script I will, right now. We could write a better movie. I, w- I will. I will agree. I think Jason Statham is doing. Jason Statham. I think he's Best fine. He he's doing the I most. Fine. I I do like his 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 like devil my care attitude. Just yeah. like ah oh, fuck it, I'm here. I'm gonna do this shit. Like I do appreciate that. He just goes for it. Like there's no build up to who's it gonna be, who's gonna do this. Like he's just like I'm. Well, I'm I'm doing it. Like, who else is gonna do it? I do appreciate that. Um, in in comparison with the book. There are there are certain things that reading the book and remembering in the movie, I'm like, you know what? I kind of appreciate the movie for this. Like we talked about how the the romance is just ridiculous and stupid. And I agree with that completely. In the book, it's even worse because his ex-wife is not his ex-wife yet. They're like, like he just found out that she cheated on him, so they're kind of estranged, but she oh, shows up again. God. So it's like the Spare two, me. So it's like the two women jealous of each other. Uh, it's so horrible. I it's, d- no, 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 no. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm like, so I'm sitting here listening to you guys. I'm like, if you read the book, you might be like, oh, it's not so bad. Because <laughs> it, it, it was but so much. If yeah. that was in the movie, at least there would be a dynamic between There'd characters. There would be conflict. I don't, conflict yeah. of some sort yeah. between characters. I mean, yeah. I don't know if there would have. Uh, maybe I don't know. <laughs> I don't, uh, it's just it's just in the book. Like it, it was just so much worse. I, I hated and it. And no more precocious kids in movies. God damn no, it! No, there was no kids no in the book. More. No, there was no kids. No more. There was no kids. I've had no enough. More kids. I've had enough. No more kids. <laughs> I can't and, do it. I can't yeah. do it. Being like you should fuck my mom. I can't not. No, I, I can't. I can't. I know. But also, also in the book, Jason Statham's character, he's. Um, He's like a PTSD kind of guy. Like he's uh, not the hero. He's just like fucking traumatized. The reluctant his... hero, kind of. Yeah. But is he he's an just... athletic diver type? He's a professor. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. why I kind of figure this is no, change like, that. No, Jason. The brain. No, Jason Statham was a much more interesting version of that character. So I will say that about the movie. So there are moments that I was like, you know what? They actually amped it up a little bit and made it more entertaining for the movie. So I'll give them that. But I agree, it wasn't enough by a long shot. It was exactly what I thought it was going to be. It didn't give me any more. It's not a fucking Megalodon movie. It's not the Megalodon movie we want or we deserve, to be honest. Right, or what it <laughs> to be should honest. be, yeah. So, I mean, I'm sure... I, I think that a lot of people are going to like it. I think they are. There were cheers but, at my yeah. school. Uh, oh, no, Holly I mean, and I had a, had a I, fucking, you know, peanut gallery that would not shut the fuck up yeah. when we went and saw it. So I think a lot of people are going to like it, but I'm not one of them, and I can't recommend this movie. Wow, Universal not recommend. Yeah, I'm Universal so recommend. Wow. And Which I love is, shark we're movies. We're being harder on this movie than we would five years, ten years from now watching it. Like, I you know, remember that fucking stupid know. movie? No, 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 no. Because we have eaten. Deep Blue Sea. I know. Which, right. yeah. yeah. Also, so, wait, did we all hate that movie? Is that what we're saying? No, I wasn't right? here for that, but I like I it. I love Deep Blue Sea. That's what I'm yeah. saying. I that's that's what I'm saying. This would be like the Meg. Ten years from now, I'd be like, we love the Meg. The other thing. <laughs> hi, how you doing? <laughs> Handshake. The Never. other thing. This movie ends with the little title card of Finn. Finn. Right. I, uh, oh. <laughs> Which I, 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 I almost I stood up went, went, fuck you, yeah. and walked <laughs> out. Because I'm like, first of all, Fuck you. Second of all, Sharknado already did it. Yeah, yeah. they you did. Can't they already do did. It in yeah. this movie, yeah. if they already did exactly. it. Exactly. Come on, they well, haven't seen Sharknado. And Sharknado has a character called. Obviously not, Colin! Sharknado has a character called Finn. The main uh, character's name is Finn. Were, all right, they were doing better than this movie. Yeah. If you're yeah. making a movie about a giant shark, you should be watching every single shark movie that's ever been made. Because there's not that many of them. There's not many. Go shark. So, but it, <laughs> two-headed shark, sand shark. shark. I've seen them all. all right, but I'm, uh, I'm no, I agree. Like yeah. Holly and I, literally, as soon as they came up, we looked at each other and we're like, "Huh? Eh. Yes, <laughs> hilarious, hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't yeah. seen that before yeah. in the last. I was like, Ugh, where am I? What, that's yeah. what you're saying. You, you're, what your problem is is you people have seen too many movies. Yeah, probably. Well, that's it's what ruining saying. new We've movies because well, you've seen too many. Well, that's our problem. Yeah, Don't listen to this podcast. Sure, there's an aspect of that. There's also like that's like if if people are going to meet each other in the middle, there's seeing too many movies and not doing enough in yeah. your movie. Yeah, and yep, yep, they, yep. The filmmakers also didn't do enough. Yeah, like, no, yeah, we've seen too many. But minimum they didn't viable do product. They yeah. didn't do enough to get to us. So yeah, that's their own it, It's a Rob Cohen situation. They did yep. enough to get released, and that mm-hmm. was it. Like that's yeah. that's it. Well, they're yeah. after the folks with disposable. Cash, all the seventeen-year-old kids going on on uh, Friday night, or the ten-year-old is Hollywood, yeah. and, and they haven't yeah. seen any of these other movies. Apparently, oh, I don't call them dumb. They just haven't seen them. They've had busy lives. Uneducated. Sorry. There you go. Not my problem. 
<laughs> so is that a uh, that was a universal? No, not no. Yeah, that was a universal. Well, shit. Don't bother. Yeah. I'm surprised, Don't honestly. Bother. I'm surprised we with all, all the shark that. bites on the table right now. There's a the lot of shark bites on the table right now. The shark yeah. bites. There's, because oh, I love damn it. sharks. I keep forgetting to like get like land shark as a beer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> land we were just <laughs> talking about that. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> God damn it! Why did none of us bring land shark? Tonight? I should have. I was gonna bring it for tremors. I didn't do it. And I should have brought it for this one. Bring it. Maybe you'll bring it for next week's movie, which is gonna be chosen by Sean. What are we watching next week, Sean? We are going to watch oh, a sequel? Uh-oh. Prequel. Okay. Uh-oh. All right. We don't oh. know. What? Oh, no. oh, no. We are going to watch The Thing. Which? 2011. Oh. Why? <laughs> I saw this Sean! in theaters. I saw it in theaters <laughs> with no one else around me. <laughs> Colin has no words. <laughs> 2011's The Mary Thing. Mary Elizabeth Winstead? Yep. Is the leading lady? Yeah, yeah. she is. All right. All right. Uh, uh, there's a... What's his name? Some nice unfinished uh, CG. Jason, Jason Clark? No. Jason Joel Edgerton. Joel one Edgerton's in this. It's the interchangeable Joel Edgerton. One. The, wow. The, wow. The memorable Joel Edgerton. Yeah. Joel, I like Joel Edgerton. I do too. But that's, a, that's, that's, no, that's for next week. Did you see Exodus Gods and Kings? No. Where then he's you're not a Egyptian? true Joel Edgerton fan, <laughs> right, apparently. Well, yeah. I think he would be like, it's fine that you didn't watch <laughs> yeah. that. I saw that. But that all right, so with him and him and uh, uh, Christian Bale. Bale yeah. yeah. So we're watching that. We're the, watching thing. the thing, not wow. the good one, not the good thing. The twenty eleven, not what, the the good what, two. Well, is the, uh, the third know, thing. with the unfinished special. Oh, I'll talk about special effects. We'll yeah. All right, the thing twenty eleven next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. Yeah. Please, yeah. please listen. <laughs> He banned the audience. Guys, in case you're getting it, please, 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 please listen. Just, please. just listen to our show. Yeah, yeah. come right in please. and let Sean know what you think of him. And uh, please, specifically, please, until sir. then.